what the ICC prosecutor has done is very important. What he has said is there must be, war is horrific in general, and I would hope that someday the human race might end war. But what he has said is there've got to be standards. And as you know, last year he went after Putin of Russia, who has taken, kidnapped thousands of Ukrainian children and taken them to Russia. And he said, that's a war crime, not to mention Putin starting the largest war in Europe since World War II. What he said about Sinwa, the head of Hamas, he said, this is the guy who started the war, committed a terrible atrocity on October 7th. He's a war criminal. He is a war criminal. But when Netanyahu goes to war against the entire Palestinian people, kills 35,000, wounds 77,000, destroys their healthcare system, their educational system, their civilian infrastructure. You know what? You gotta have standards. And if you turn your back on that, then the next guy around the world comes and says, hey, we could destroy the whole thing. Let's do it. So I-, well, I What do you make of, of what we heard on this? Because the, the common refrain to that and what President Biden has said is that it draws a false equivalence between Prime Minister Netanyahu and no, Yahya Sinwar. I don't agree. No one, Netanyahu is the head of a democratic nation. He's elected, that's true. Uh, Sinwa is a terrorist, head of a terrorist organization. That's true. But what the ICC prosecutor looked at is what they have actually did, what they did. And what Sinwa, Sinwa did, what Hamas did, is, to my mind, uh, a act of a, a, a criminal violation of international law, no question about it. He's a war criminal. What Netanyahu is doing to the Palestinian people is different. But that is also, to my mind, a, a clear violation of international law. I want to read you one thing, which is important. As you know, Defense Minister of Israel, Galant, mm -hmm. has also been, uh, there's a warrant out for his arrest as well. This is what he said uh, soon after October 7th. He said, quote, Defense Minister, quote, I have ordered a complete siege on the Gaza Strip. There will be no electricity, no food, no fuel. Everything is closed. We are fighting human animals, and we are acting accordingly, end of quote. That is the defense minister of Israel. And you know what? That is exactly what they did. Yeah, Today, we, there is no electricity. 